Go. Hello all, welcome back. I don't know what happened. The internet was fine in that I was talking to Mori the entire time it was supposedly dead. I think Twitch had a bit of a fart. Anyway, back to it. Thank you for your patience. Now, what did this actually say? Twitch just doesn't want us to get through this trap. I punched away at the runes randomly, but as far as I could tell, nothing happened. Hmm. Is there anything else in here? Well, you're solved a mystery, though. Of how to get rid of Lara Croft? No. Um, you wanted to figure out... We, oh, well, you tried to give the charm bracelet to the wizard, but we didn't have anything to give us back. You think but, he'll, he'll... as a member of the Unseen, he should be able to help us with this. I wasn't mm. about to steal the security. Up on the wall. Yeah, unseen securities, magical alarms, sure. I was thinking this was meant to be like a joke about comparing it to Vault Tech Fallout, but maybe it's doing two things at once. I just assumed that he would be the one to help us with that in return of the charm bracelet. But since we know that he's not to used give yet. That to him. Yeah. Yeah. We know we have thing he wants, but we have no reason to give it to him because he is of no use. Okay. Can we talk, or do I have to... No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the other guy. Yes, you, powerful wizard. Hello again, Warb. Luton. I... But it's not a talking... Oh, it's not a talking point. Oh, how can we get us a talking point? <laughs> hmm. Maybe because I didn't actually try and interact with the electric fence. Mm. I was just like, it's electric. If it tries to touch me, I might die. <clears throat> we... If if you try to give him the charm now, will will the game realize it, or is it? Uh... Okay, before we walk all the way back, sure. Will he accept our bribe even without a cause? Come. We can. Out it will. So no. And then we go inventory. Charm bracelet. Bribe. I think this charm bracelet is worth something to you. Really? The charms are carved from serendipitous redwood. It's a genuine luck. I think this is different. Where did you get it? Yeah. And if it's Before it was lucky, like, we ha he has nothing we need. It used to belong to Reagan. And I'm not going to give it to you, but I might trade it to you. Reagan? The dwarf, yeah. I remember seeing him wear it at the tables. 
Do you think that was why he always won? Yes. I'm no expert, but anything's possible. You're right. I'm interested. What do you want for it? What have you got? I haven't got any money. Actually, I don't think I've got anything of any value to offer at all. But you're a powerful I wizard. I just have to think of something. What? So close, Maury, but not quite. <laughs> okay, so we have to make the vault a talking point somehow. If he was a talking point and we could use him on electric fence mm -hmm. to generate new talking point... Mm. I don't know either, Salah. I um, I'm not not sure how that little please hold. We are having technical difficulties. Video works, and if it would join seamlessly, I I honestly don't know. I should probably make one. Well, let's see. This wasn't turning out to be one of my better days. No, it just... It, it, it just kills us. Could you look us. at it without interacting with <clears> it? <throat> more than I'd like, Salah. I have more than I'd like. Quite frankly, any is too many. Okay, so you just want us to look at the electric fence. No! No, 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 no! Why aren't you... Oh, because it walks up to things when I say to look at them, doesn't it? There was a panel. Yes. This might also kill us. Like, it might get too close if we say look at it. One of the vaults grabbed okay. my attention more than the others. No, it 51. stays just short of it. Whereas most of the vaults were open, this one was sealed behind a large oak door with the words Nil Introitus written on it. I once knew a man who had that tattooed on his buttocks. Is it now? It didn't add a talking point to our... to our talking point list. But we now have a specific thing, even if it's not a talking point, but we have been taught that we can't use it if it's not a talking point. What if I try and use the grapple? It hadn't been, of course, even. I exam. It looked. I exam. It looked. Why can't you let me pick it up? Thank you. What if I try and use the grapple on the vault? No, stop, not walk over there. I wasn't about. No. What if we try and use the luck bracelet on the vault? I w no. Mm hmm. The only thing I have left then is to just double check that um, the game isn't being really stupid and allows us to move along with the dialogue, even though it's not in there. Move along with what dialogue? Uh, with uh, the wizard. Like, the first time we tried to give it to uh, it, it had a different, yeah, it had the like, I don't need it yet. Yes. And I don't know quite yet what you can do for me. Maybe now that we know it's Wolf 51, that helps. Okay, Which let's I head over. I feel bad for the game, but I don't want this to work. <laughs> well, I, I had a window from a wall happen that I didn't want. Maybe it's your turn. 
Do you own? No, but that made sense within the game's terms. Uh, this one doesn't. Don't you? No. Okay. Not you. I want to talk to the powerful wizard. Hello. Yeah. Now it's a. It's a talking point in here. Okay. It's not a. Right. It's not a notepad talking point, but it's a talk Hello. to. Luke. It's a conversation point mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. I have an idea of what you can trade me for the bracelet. Go on. You work for Unseen Securities, right? Yeah. Well, I need to get into Vault 51 under the Guild of Archaeologists, and you can help me. No. No. That's a bad idea. I could get into serious trouble. Face it, Warb, your life's a mess. You've got nothing to lose. But if this charm bracelet is as good as it seems, it could make a world of difference to you. Whoa, if they traced a break-in back to me, my life wouldn't be worth living. In the first place, no one is going to know I broke in. Because we're not talking about it in a public no location. Need to trace it back to you. And in the third, your life is already... In front of another person. What difference is this going to make? Oh. A person known to give information for bribes. I'll do it. How do I switch off the security system for Vault 51? I don't know what their watchword is, but all the unseen security systems have a back passage. What's that? It's a way to switch them off that only we know about. What is it? You'll have to find the rune panel. What's it look like? Yeah, it's we found a small it. a panel with runes marked on it. You touch the right runes in sequence to switch it off. What's the sequence for the back passage? Give me the bracelet first. Here you are. Now, what's the sequence for the back passage? Whatever the runes are on the panel, make an X starting in the top left and finishing in the bottom left. That's the back passage. A pleasure doing business with you, Warb. You won't tell anyone about this, will you? Don't worry. I'm feeling honorable today. Start, top left, finish, bottom left, draw X. <laughs> I don't quite know how... Didn't you say top right? No, I thought he said top left. Oh. Could be. I just remember bottom left. I think there's only like four possible options, so it's not a big... It's not a big computational space to search anyway. There is one way to find out, Rusty. There's two, actually. By talking to him again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying and talking to him again. It may also be that we don't need to actually do anything and that now we have the flag for, like, knows how to undo panel. It just does it. Stop that! I punched away at the runes randomly, but it's... Oh! Is it a talking point? Here we go. Use back passage secret information on rune panel. Except that I'm standing in the way. Get out the way. Use back passage secret information on panel. Okay, he does some so. War Neat. told me I made an X on the control panel. I just hoped he was telling the truth. Victory! Lara Croft, I mean, Lorenda Cronk foiled.
Vault 51. I couldn't do that. That's a lot of crates. It made a big impression. <laughs> Not quite as big an impression as some of the traps on the way would have done, but at least the impression it was making wasn't fatal. Oh god. I thought it was still cutscene. I didn't have time to search. Oh wait, isn't Vault 51 the one that I haul all of Indiana Jones stuff in? I don't remember that, sorry. I was thinking it's meant to be a fallout joke. Or reference. Oh, I... I'm pretty sure, like, when they take the... Um, the Ark or whatever it is, that's into a vault. So how are we gonna find it inside these things? I didn't have time. Vault 51. I couldn't even begin to... Perhaps even that pen I locked. The crates were labeled with some Here we go. Of four digit reference number, and there did seem to be some sort of a pattern as to how they were organized. So we ask our lover what the code system is? Uh or we use the thing that we have. We have a code. As in, you want to use Vanita, whatever it is, the upside down thing. No. Yeah, the upside down thing. Can I please. Thank you. Thank you. But isn't. This isn't four digit. Well, it's actually four digits and then a V. Use that on crate. I didn't have time to. It worked. Hangar 51 in Indiana Jones. Thank you. Oh my god, this person's face is. Oh no, now I get what their face is doing. They just have a ludicrous chin. Oh, new scene. New scene. Cabinet of urns. The glass cabinet contained urns from Zorta and was labeled 3711 to 3713 V. It was one of the most boring things I've ever seen. The fat urn was clearly a very ancient piece of pottery. Oh, but so we're gonna it smash it. Boring indeed. We don't have the our crowbar. A priceless antiquity, no. But I really didn't care. The small urn was as boring as the other two urns. There wasn't much I could do to the cabinet with my bare hands. Mm. Do we use our grappling iron? It I slammed the grapple against the glass, but it didn't break. I had a feeling that brute force wasn't going to get me inside the cabinet. Mm. Dang. And does it just leave the... Can I go back in? I didn't have... No, I have to use the... Okay. Every time we want to get to that screen, we have to use... Code on... Pile of crates. I worked my way around the... Is there anything else here, we, though, in this scene? There was the glass. It was one. The fact it looked the tall, but I the small. There wasn't. I can't move ourself. Like I can't. I'm pressing move us around button, and it at most leaves the screen. So it's not like we body block anything. And there's nothing here, there were only crates. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Mm. Anything else in our inventory that would work? I tried the grapple, which seemed the most reasonable. It's got metally bits. Yeah, but moon logic isn't necessarily... <laughs> I mean, everything else is like a piece of paper and the charm bracelet. 
No, it doesn't look like And a coin, I guess. Yeah, maybe the coin could, like, scratch the glass or something. Oh, no, it's now a specific subsection. Okay, there is now a subsection of the screen that we can use to, to get here. Okay. Good, good. But that doesn't, uh, help us actually open the urns. Hmm. Okay, well, we can only try rubbing every single item in our... That's not heavy. We can't do it with our coin purse. We're lamenting how poor we are. Our coin purse isn't heavy enough. Mundy's coin probably did come from somewhere in this exhibit. It occurred to me that the coin might be used to cut through the glass, but it wasn't sharp enough. Alas, also no. Then maybe the envelope. I was having strange ideas. <laughs> Outside of a dream, I didn't think paper was going to smash open the cabinet. <laughs> the game's throwing some shade at us. <sighs> so we're missing an item. Maybe we were supposed to have done this before we had our... No, but this can only happen after the prison. I was going to say, we were meant to do this before the prison, before they confiscate our crowbar. We could go back to where the guards are and see if we can be like, yo, crowbar me up. Not unthinkable. Yo, can I have my crowbar back? I'm Doesn't look like we can have our crowbar back. I can't help. No. Hmm. We could ask our girlfriend. Mm -hmm. The question is, is she up... No, I'm not meant to leave here. Is she staying up in the room with the, uh... With the boyfriend? Or has she gone somewhere else that we don't know about now? It could also be that there's a new item in our office. Ow. It could be. It could be. No, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Um, can we go up and maybe ask Crazy Man for something that will let us cut through? Yeah, Invention Man. Invention Man is a reasonable answer for how do we... Like, maybe he has diamond always looked cutter, easy. Mission Impossible, cut open, safe thing. And maybe his bench has now got stealable stuff? There was nothing you Well, not Damn it. Maybe. Come on, this guy's like nothing but tools. Can I ask you? No, then it can't wait. Oh, we can talk to him. No, it's um... Yes! What is that? My flapping device, same as before. It occurred to me. Same as before. I might be able to produce a flapping wing flying device that it can be a bicycle it airplane. If we can to oh, be solved. Problems. What are the problems? I think we have to do we have to help him fix this and then he'll give us something. Mainly wait. If it is going to fly, it has to be light. But two conkers 
has suggested using bombastic wood for the frame. I, I think I might have prevented us from being able to proceed. But it should work. If weight is a problem, why does it seat two people? The patrician said he would be most interested in the device if it could be used to fly two people. You don't know why? Well, he said he was interested in how far you could travel in it. Come to think of it, I suppose Veterinary might be interested in getting a long way from the city in a hurry one day. Could you fly a long distance in it? I imagine you'd get very tired. Still, if it were moving over a flat surface, you might get some additional lifting, lifting things up force, ground, which would mean it would be easier. I call this the reflecting some of your lifting things up force off the ground effect. Hmm. Well, this is all very interesting, but it isn't helping my case much. I want help with this. Does 3712V mean anything to you? I wouldn't to be knowing anything what that was about. Hmm. So what, you think uh, you've zorked us by... Yes. I don't think so, because, right, we can't... We can't find the place for... The, we can't... We can't get into the archaeologist place unless we've gotten the people here and we get our crowbar stolen in the process of getting in this room no 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 not a crowbar uh so i i, I went back and looked at notes and uh, we have been pretty much stealing whatever we could except in one single case And that was when I said no to stealing the troll's diamond toot. <laughs> okay. And diamond cut glass. <laughs> diamond does cut glass. Let's uh... So because I didn't want to steal from a corpse... Let's see I if it's still there. <laughs> It might still be on the corpse. It could be. I know. Her stealing things meta was weak and... I had morals, how dare I? All my best instincts told me not to take the tooth. But I just ignored them. And can we use this to glass cut? I don't like that you have to steal that troll's tooth, but oh well. Steal? Who owns it? <laughs> sure, taking parts of a corpse is not considered a legal activity. Get in. Get in. Well, I would have fiddled around with, um... Trying to fix whatever thing they want for the machine fixing. Which does look like it's a thing. And we may still have to do. But this certainly is a quicker thing to do. Where was the exact display? Use troll tooth on panel. Only illegal if you get caught, huh? The troll's tooth scored yep. the cabinet's glass like an so much for through a rich man's game giving us a moral value choice. All items must be used, Maury. There wouldn't be an item if we didn't use it. And inside was the golden just sword. Thought that would just be about our own greed. Okay, earn her sword. Finally, this was it. The artifact that Carlotta, Horst, and who knows how many other people were looking for. 
frankly, it was a bit of an anticlimax. I expected it to at least glow a little, or perhaps sing to itself, to quietly, itself quietly, or hum with the stolen souls of a thousand men. But it just felt cold and hard in my hand, like any other sword. Suddenly it came over me that everything would go wrong. It sounds crazy, but it's true, so help me. <laughs> I couldn't hear my footsteps. It was the walk of a dead man. Okay, and we use this new sword on Trollman. And then he gives us something for it. Uh, save. If so something kills us, who knows? Well, this is why we have saves. Maybe he'll trade it to return when I made it out of the Lara Croft. Alive, I thought I was home free. But there was something wrong. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I knew I was in danger. I'm not a suspicious man, but I am a cautious man. I decided <laughs> then and there to start running and not look back until my office door was safely locked behind me. But something else had plans for me not to make it that far. The doggo monster? Oh, wow. This is really quite fancy graphics. Mm-hmm. Oh, this was the opening sequence, wasn't it? <laughs> Except we thought we were the other person, not this guy. So we thought we were chasing down this other guy. Bad end? I don't know when I first began to suspect that I wasn't dead. I guess it must have been when I realized I was thinking about whether or not I was dead. The anthropomorphic entity with the scythe hadn't turned up, so I figured I was either alive or undead. And it didn't take me long to work out which. And it is a doggo. Werewolf. Werewolf now. I through the streets in a daze, not really knowing what was going on. At first, I couldn't make out any colors. Then gradually the city came alive with vast clouds of pigmentation. Against it all, there was an ever-present mist of bright green, cloying and unpleasant. There was a dissonance about it that I couldn't place, until I realized I was smelling the rank odor of the River Ark. We've got I was super sm smell? Every smell fascinated me. No smell now. The resonant scents combined into a symphony. Every street was an opera. Every lamp Well, of course we have doggo smell. I don't know how long I wandered the streets. It's hard to tell which way is up when your world has been turned upside down. I ended up back where I started because I didn't know what else to do. Plus, my coat was in the coffin and Ankh Morpork is a bad neighborhood to be caught naked in. He only wears a coat? Woof woof. I haven't got anything to eat, if that's what you That want. didn't go woof woof. Woof. It, it said woof. 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 
I haven't got any idea what's going on either. Wolf, bloody wolf. Yeah, there we go. Hey, <clears throat> that's pretty sharp. Most people don't catch on to that. What did you say? <laughs> wolf, wolf. You can talk, can't you? I mean, really talk. Nothing gets past you, does it? How did you do that? Well, um, <clears throat> I can sort of talk. Nonsense. If there was a talking dog in Ankh-Mor Pork, I'd have heard about it. Ah, oh, uh, well, the thing is, most people don't seem to notice it. Yeah, right. Like you wouldn't notice a talking dog. Seems like people only see what they expect to see. Hmm? How philosophical of you. I just call them as I see them. So how come I can tell you can talk? I don't claim to understand it. I just do it. Do you know what's happened to me? I'm guessing you didn't know you were a werewolf till you woke up this morning. I'm a werewolf. That explains what's happening to me. I thought somebody slipped something into my embalming fluid. First order of business is to train you up then. Hold it right there. I don't need your help. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Look at yourself. What's your name? Luton. I'm a private investigator. Well, I was. Then I was dead. And then I was, well, a werewolf, I suppose. I guess I spoke too soon. Maybe I do need your help. What's your name? Gaspode the Wonder Dog. Ooh. Hello, Tarpa. You... No spoilers now. Hey, don't knock the name. I was named after the famous Gaspode. Never heard of him. Most people haven't. He belonged to an old man in Ark many years ago. When the old man died and was buried, Gaspo lay down on his grave and howled and howled for a couple of weeks, growling at anyone who came near. Then he died. And they called him the Wonder Dog because he was such a paragon of doggy faithfulness and loyalty. <coughs> Until they discovered that his tail had been trapped under the stone, yeah. How do you think I became a werewolf? Well, presumably, you got bit by a werewolf. Bitten? Right. So it wasn't a Let tiny me... vampire. Don't correct me grammar, all right? Sorry. Okay. Well. Once I've trained you, I suggest that the first thing you do is try and work out how you got infected. Infected? With lycanthropy. It's the blood disease that werewolves have. Now, since you don't have any cubhood memories of romping with your pack, I reckon it's a safe bet that you got infected somehow. So someone I know is a werewolf. Give the wolf a cigar. So can I change between being a wolf and a man at will? Sort of. There's a certain way the change... I was not works. expecting this to take this turn. The change? There's two things you've got to learn about being a werewolf. Yet I'm not surprised. The and the change. The nose? Yeah, the nose. Werewolves have a unique perception of the world, a sort of a different point of smell. I've noticed that. I can see scents as colours, and they have a certain feel about them too. Those colours are unique. Each smell has its own <laughs> signature colour. So you can tell whether or not someone has been somewhere by whether or not you can see their scent there. Even as a man? No! Only when you're a wolf. 
And how do I switch between forms? That's what the change is all about. It's a skill you've got to learn how to do. Now, you've already used it to turn into a wolf. Soon, you'll be able to change whenever you wanna. How did I change this time if I didn't know how? That's the other thing about the change. You have to change at the full moon. I guess that's what brought this on in the first place. Other times, it's voluntary. So can I change now? Give it a try. At first, I didn't know what to do. But Gaspode talked me through it. We now have Notebook, Inventory, and Werewolf mode. Mm -hmm. Then, when I could see the world in all its psychedelic glory, Gaspode started teaching me about the nose. You look around, tell me what you see, as a wolf. There's a lot of colors. Phew, I can see how you became a private investigator. You get a lot more information about scents with your werewolf senses. You can, you can see them as colors. I can see a mist of bright green surrounding everything. And there's something that looks like a long stream of purplish red cloud with some tiny fluorescent greenish yellow purple specks in it. Also, there's a ground fog of some kind of unpleasant blue. Well, the bright green is the stench of the river Ankh. No mistake in that. That long stream of cloud sounds like the scent of someone having gone through the cemetery recently. Does it smell like a privy carpet? No, it smells like Carlotta, but with less treble. Well, it wasn't me then. I guess I'm the ground fog of unpleasant blue. Who was it? I don't know who it was, but it was someone. I can't see my own scent. Well, that's normal. You're so used to being around it that it's invisible to you. And that's handy for me, what with my stench and all. <laughs> so I can follow the purplish scent to find this person. If you want, and assuming you don't lose the trail. Other smells eventually drown scents out, especially out on the streets. What about the coruscating dots? <laughs> What's it like? It's like flashing green, yellow, purple. Is it like mature mould with an earthy echo? No. It's not you then. Eh, yeah, don't know what it is. See where else you find it and you might be able to work out what it is. According to Gaspode, I could learn a lot from comparing different sets. Camera shaking is a bit unnecessary. I figured that could come in handy in my line of work. Assuming I could change back to being human, that is. I gave it my best shot. Okay, we're off again, and we've been told to become human. Nicely done. I learned from a master. Right, that's about it. Apart from the full moon, <sighs> you can be whatever you want to be. But as of the full moon, you're sniffing lampposts with the rest of us. I've heard there are Act jobs three. Oh, I want to be a lion. Oh, cheers. Tiger. Thank you kindly. Can we pick up the piece of paper? Uh, do you want to continue with part three, or do you want to? Or do you want to end there? here? Um, well, it does make a natural cutting point, but I'm okay for another couple there of hours if you want. There was a soaked letter by my graveside. Mm -hmm. I gotta go get groceries. That's the only thing. Then that makes a perfectly logical cutting point. We have finished act two of i think five is it i thought it was four. Four, four, five. it's not it's not super super much longer we're mostly done and hopefully we get it a bit sooner than last time so we remember a bit more more quickly yeah anyway thank you all for watching i hope you have a lovely time thank you maury well it's been fun it has been fun. I'm I'm really surprised by this become a werewolf turn. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to use it to do sleuthing where we match colours with places and work out who was where and when. Mm hmm. Um. In any case, catch us all next time. Thank you for joining. 
Who's up and about that we can pass you along to so I can go have dinner and Mori can do her her grocery shopping. Mmm, Pizza Nord is up. So yeah, thank you all. If it's your first time watching, hitting that follow button. Check out Mori as well. He's destroying our time, our crime o'clock times, stealing my train levels. Have a great day all. Enjoy your weekend.